And I was like, Trisha, get out of the way. I'm going home. I want to go home. I need some time to myself. She's like, no. No. Holy sh**. Is like, this true? Yeah. Like, honestly, I'm just like, am I that scary? That so I want to start this video off by sharing a quote from a book I'm reading by my girl, CCB, AKA The Crimson Kiss. By the way, Go follow her on Instagram. She is an amazing woman, an amazing author. She talks a lot about relationships and stuff like that. But anyways, she says, and I broke my own damn heart by staying in a relationship that I knew wasn't good for me. But instead of taking accountability, I blamed it all on him. Preach. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, like I said, I will link CCB down in the description below. But did you know I'm an author as well? <laughs> I just released my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety. Go check it out. Thank you so much for everybody who's got a copy and has given me feedback. I was like super nervous. I haven't written in a little while, so it is very appreciated. But anyways, if you want to check out Rewire Your Anxiety, it's available down in the description and pinned comment in the ebook and the audiobook format, all right? So yeah, like to start this off, to start this off, because some people were upset about a, a, a title of another video I made. like. Here's a good rule of thumb, okay? Like, I'm in therapy, okay? And therapy is something I think everybody should be in, but, like, here's a good rule of thumb. When you're about to do anything, ask yourself, like, what would my therapist tell me in this moment, right? Something I had to do early on before therapy and I was just working 12-step programs was like, what would my sponsor tell me to do in this moment? So I got some messages and comments that Trisha Paytas just released this new video right here and whoo hoo Oh boy, all right, so it's titled like, Why My Ex-Boyfriend Is Afraid Of Me. And like, in my opinion, like, it's it's just sad. Like, I feel bad for her, all right? And I'm glad she's getting help and I hope that works out. But for the hundreds of thousands of people out there watching it, I want you to know, like, what we can learn from this to start taking some accountability and see what's going on. But yeah, in this video, she talks about how Jason Nash finally returned her stuff but he didn't want to see her. And this is something that, I don't know, it's not too uncommon, especially after a breakup. Like it's awkward and it's like, eh, you know, whatever. But in this situation, there's much more. But in the video, she starts talking more about David Dobrik. She starts talking about Jeff and things like that and the vlog squad and everything. It's like, eh, dial it back. Because here's the thing, like so many of us, we lack this self-awareness, right? And that's why I love that quote from CCB is, we lack this self-awareness, like, why are people acting this way? So, one thing I will say is, I hope Trisha Paytas can take a pause for a second and develop some empathy for what happened between her and Nick Akato Avocado. This is something I hope for all of you as well. And here's what I mean by that. So, she's like joking about like Jason Nash maybe getting a restraining order against her, you know, for being scared of her and things like that. But her whole thing about ghosting Nick Akato Avocado was, you don't owe anybody anything. If they scare you, if they make you feel concerned or whatever it is, you don't need to talk to them. You don't need to see them. So I would hope that she could take a step back and look at this and say, oh, okay. So maybe, maybe this is why Jason Nash doesn't want to see me. Or she could say, oh, okay, now I understand how Nick Akato Avocado feels. Like, you guys, we have to gain empathy. And, Here's the way I learned it. Like, I was doing a lot of self-reflecting and journaling. Like, I, I just wish more people would journal. But here's when I got some more clarity. It's when I was writing down my resentments towards other people, why other people pissed me off, right? And then I would start writing about the expectations, right? Like, nobody should treat me like this. Nobody should do this. People should be this way. A good mother, a good friend, a good sister, a good employer, a good employee. These are what these people should act like. 
then I'm seeing all these expectations I'm placing on other people that I'm not even living up to myself, right? Like for us, it's easy for us to sit back and watch YouTube. We could watch storylines like Trisha Paytas or anybody else and sit back and judge. But where are we doing that in our own life? Like it's so easy for us to be like, ha, these people don't know what they're doing and they're causing their own problems. But where's that happening in our own life? But the main thing, the primary thing I wanna talk about in this video is like more self-awareness and understanding why people do what they do, right? Because in this video, Trisha Paytas is really confused as to why Jason Nash would be afraid of her. And like the craziest part is like he had his assistant DM my makeup artist, my friend Adam. <laughs> like He's like, Jason just left the stuff there. I'm like, like, Dude is scared of me. I, I, I think that's the thing that honestly gave me the most unresolvement from this whole thing. Not that he broke up with me. Not because his friends all hate me. <laughs> not because of the video. Like, honestly, I'm just like, am I that scary? That like, whenever I, whenever I hear Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash, I think about this clip right here. David, it was... It was so scary that at one point I actually just started laughing. Like I, she almost won me over with how crazy it was. Like I almost went to her side, to the dark side, and was and just completely flipped and was like, "All right, let's just be crazy together." Wait, why did you almost call the police? I'm not gonna say. She can say if she wants. I'm not gonna throw her under the bus. I wasn't literally didn't do anything. I mean, what she did like wasn't that bad. I was blocking the door. <laughs> <laughs> For an hour and a half. I sat there. He went into that bedroom and I just sat there. But then. She sat right here. Wait, wait, wait. She sat here like a f***ing prison guard. And I was like, Trisha, get out of the way. I'm going home. I want to go home. I need some time to myself. She's like, no. No. Holy s***. Is like, this true? Yeah. Like, honestly, I'm just like, am I that scary? That so before I break that down real quick, like I, when I got sober seven years ago, I had to start asking myself, do these people who don't wanna be around me, do they have any reason to not want to be around me, right? Like what was my part, right? Because we're never gonna grow, we're never gonna learn unless we look back at what's happened in our lives and say, oh, maybe I contributed to this. So like when I see somebody like Trisha Paytas just so confused as to why Jason Nash doesn't wanna to talk to her, like there were many times during that relationship where Jason Nash would try to leave and she did things like that. She wouldn't let him leave. So if you're able to sit back and like ask yourself like, oh wait, is there any reason why he wouldn't wanna see me? Maybe he's worried about that happening again. Do you see what I mean? But aside from that, Aside from that whole thing too, like you have to take a minute to put yourself in Jason Nash's shoes, right? There's constantly videos being made about him. There's Instagram stories, there's tweets, like there's all these things, right? And Trisha Paytas has been having these emotional roller coasters and everything like that. Like, is it any wonder that he's trying to distance himself from her, you know what I mean? Like we have to take a step back and this isn't just about Trisha Paytas. Like we have to ask ourselves, like we have to ask ourselves, like why do people not wanna be around us? What am I doing, right? Because if not, how are we going to improve? Like for example, like I used to be the type of person who complained all the time. All the time, like I had such a negative bias, like there was no silver linings, every situation sucked. And like people stopped wanting to hang around me just because I complained so much, right? And it wasn't until I realized like, oh, maybe I'm just being a downer all the time and that's why people don't wanna hang out with me. And now, I hang out with a bunch of people when I want to, you know what I mean? Like, we need to sit back and look at this. But the next thing I wanna talk about is when we see this, and this is just confusing with the whole storyline, but anyways, this video's for you, baby girl, all right? But Trisha Paytas, in an Instagram story, talked about how she found out Jason Nash was cheating on her, and this was like a huge thing. She talked about it in an Instagram story, she made a billion tweets about it, and everything like that. And something that a lot of us forget, like if that's true, right? Something a lot of us forget is the hurt someone caused us in a relationship because Trisha Paytas in this video talks about how she's trying to figure out ways to get him back, which I don't know. But anyways, like we have to look back and say, oh wait, like this wasn't a great relationship. This wasn't as good as I thought. Oh yeah, they hurt 
me, all right? And one of the biggest fears a lot of us have is being alone, and that's one of the reasons we wanna go back. We're drawn back to an ex because it's, it's safe, it's comfortable, but is it? Is it like something Trisha talks about in this video is about how her therapist is trying to teach her to let go, all right? And this is something that all of us need to do with situations that are hurting us rather than helping us, all right? But we need to realize when we're not letting go, we're causing our own misery. It's like holding on to a hot coal, all right? Nobody's forcing us to hold on to that hot coal, but until we drop it, we are continuing to cause our own misery, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget to go check out my girl, CCB. She's an amazing author, and down in the description, down in the pinned comment, is my new book, Rewire Your Anxiety. Go check it out. It's available now in ebook and audiobook format, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you're all amazing and all of you beautiful patrons out there make sure you go check out the page because I uploaded your free copies of rewire your anxiety just the other day so go make sure you snag yourself one all right and if you want to become a patron boop, click or tap right there all right thanks again so so much for watching I'll see you next time